This video shows you a sample run of our Lego Robot Inventor 51515 robot cleaning our pretend floor by running over each of the 16 squares. Our robot will usually start from the red square, run over each of the other 15 squares in any order, and then finish by returning to the red square. Let us do some revision and go back and start up Mindstorms. And when that opens, we go down and click on Code. Now we want, first of all, to go just forward three squares. So we can click on this particular command. We can go straight for 50 centimeters or 20 inches, which is pretty much the same sort of thing. But we haven't told it which motors to use. So let's put that in. We want motors E and F on our TAS robot. We'll click those in. And uh, we then want to stop the program. We go right down to the bottom of the these commands and click on the stop all and exit program. Good. So this is a little program which will just take us to three squares forward. We click on the Connect Hub. We want to go to Bluetooth. I've got two to choose from. I choose one of them and we connect up to that. Now we can now start the program. And when the program runs, we can see this happening. Now we want our robot to turn. To cut down wheel spin and make our turns more accurate, we will cut down both motor speeds down to 50%. We then choose the move straight command and change it so that it turns our robot left, that's anti-clockwise from above, to minus 100 for 10 centimeters, about 3.9 inches. We then use another move straight command to go forward 12 centimetres, about 4.7 inches. Next, we repeat our previous move straight command and turned our robot left, it's anti-clockwise, to minus 100 for 10 centimetres, again about 3.9 inches. Now, let's run that and see if our robot turns just the way we want it to run. The code to send our robot along the second line is the same as for the first line, except we turn right instead of left. So copy these commands from the first and change the turn to right. And then we'll place those at the end of our program like this. And when we do that, the run of our robot will look like this. The code to send our robot along the third line of the floor is the same as for the first line. So we repeat the code for the first line, add it to the end of our program like this, and then we try running our robot. Finally, we need the code to send our robot along the top of our floor and then down the left hand side of our floor to the red square. We send it straight first of all for 50 centimeters. We then want to turn our robot left um, as we've done before and we'll then go straight ahead 
for 45 centimetres, which we've measured out, and it seems a good time, a good distance to go. Right, now we want to move that to the end of a program, but there's no room. So let's look at the zoom out. Click, click on zoom out several times. Uh, we can then have sufficient space to move our rest of our code into our program. We can also zoom in to see it a little more clearly. And let's run the program now. Well, we've taught our robot how to clean our pretend floor. Good work. Now, try some other ways of doing that. Some other ways are faster, some are slower, some clean each of the squares only once, no repeats. Try lots of different ones and see how you go. Good luck. Thank you for watching our Robot Floor Cleaner Challenge for the LEGO 51515 Robot Inventor Set. Now, Dr. Graham has a free downloadable e-booklet at www.drg2.com that includes this challenge plus quite a few others. Enjoy!